Hi, this is Aida. Welcome to my cooking channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make your papri chaat. And it's going to be fun because it's just assembling quite a few ingredients together and putting the dish in a presentable way. Hope you enjoy it. I'm going to show you how to make papri chaat with all these ingredients. So I'm going to plate up one big plate. You can serve to two or three people. So placing the papris, which are already made, but there is a recipe with a description and how to make these at home as well. So just going to place all these things. Now it's really making a uh, papri chart is like uh, assembling things and uh, just putting things together in order and uh, there are different textures, different flavors, different spices and so on. So you will get all the flavors like crispy papri chart, papris, soft potatoes, crunchy chickpeas and then sweet and sour yogurt don't forget the mint or the green chutney which we are going to use is going to give it a really vibrant color also at the end we are going to garnish with tamarind chutney which is going to be sweet and tangy and it will be really a nice touch after that I'm going to use some chickpeas which are coated with green chutney so just to give it a different flavor and look so we're going to put some pea chickpeas on top of each papri it helps if you are making to your own papris then you can make them a little bit bigger so you can have as much filling on to the papris as you like so we are going to just show you a basic recipe there are different ways different ingredients you can use but uh, mostly they are quite colorful like red chopped onions are going to give it another uh, dimension it's uh, crunchy it's uh, very um, very very aromatic and tasteful and it's going to give a really vibrant color to your papri chart. So we are going uh, to assemble this plate and when we finish it will really look vibrant. This is a most popular um, dish at the moment um, all over Asia which is like a street food and people just go around doing their work or shopping or meeting friends and they will order a plate of that or so on. So I'm going to drizzle some yogurt on each papri. So as you can see it's going to give it a little bit more body to the papri chart dish and uh, it's going to give certainly sweet and sour taste to your now going to sprinkle some of the spices which is a red chili flake you just kind of sprinkle a little bit over the top and then we have some roasted cumin which will give flavor and texture to the papri chart so I'm going to use that just sprinkle a little bit on top of each papri it will give a really nice taste in your mouth when you have this recipe. If you like, you can put a little bit more green chutney around the edges to give a little bit more kind of spiciness. But it's, it's only if you really like spicy food, then you can do this. 
because this is coriander and chili chutney. So I'm going to add another chutney which is the tamarind chutney which is sweet and sour because we have put some dates in the tamarind which the recipe I will show you some other time. So I'm just going to drizzle a little bit more of this lovely chutney which will give you a nice combination color and taste so here we are you can always add more chutney to your taste but this is the dish you're going to enjoy and that's it